Hello guys and welcome back to another play of you on the channel. Today we've actually got our first special card that isn't an icon or a hero review in FIFA 23. And we've gone with the absolute sweat king, Winter Wildcards, Adama Traore, who looked pretty incredible now with the upgrade to be honest. And I can't wait to try this sweaty man out. So if you do enjoy today's play of you, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play of views and FIFA related content. Now, he's got high-low work rate, he's right foot with four-star skills and a four-star weak foot, and he is five foot ten. He's going for about 165k on the Xbox and PS right now. Uh, he can play striker or centre forward, um, but he could probably you could play him on the wing if you want to, I suppose. Um, he's got 97 pace, which we all know is absolutely ridiculous. His shooting has been uh, jacked off, should we say. 82 attack position, 83 finishing, 90 shot power, 84 long shots. His volleys and penalties are crap though at 63 and 60. Uh, so I've stuck a finisher on him to boost his finishing up as much as I can. And uh, obviously to boost that dribbling up a bit more as well. Now his passing stats, not the greatest in the world, but certainly not the worst either. Crossing of 85 is good, so that it means you can play him on the wing. Vision of 73. Uh, short pass 78, long pass 65, and curve of 80. He doesn't have finesse shot trait, uh, so obviously that curve may be a con on the car when it comes to finesse shots, although we all know finesse shots are crap this year. Uh, his dribbling looks pretty damn good, to be honest, apart from composure and reactions. Uh, he's got 85 agility, 90 balance, 75 reactions, 85 ball control, 94 dribbling, which is insane, and 80 composure there. Obviously, his defensive stats are a bit rubbish, so looking at his physicals, 83 jumping, 84 stam, 90 strength and 80 aggression is absolutely insane on someone who's got 97 pace in it. So hopefully he's going to be really good and he only comes with a flair trait. So that's the team I'm going to play him in. I'm going to use him as a striker uh, next to Butra, who I've got untradeable. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're going with. But let's go get into the player review, but a quick review from our sponsor, u7buy.com. If you're looking for cheap and reliable FIFA coins, then check out u7buy.com and use the code JOSH97 to get yourself a cheeky 5% off at checkout. Links are in the description below. So here we go into match number one with the Sweat King Adama. Let's see the team we're coming up against in this one. He's going with a five back. Interesting. Really nice team. Got some nice cards in there, especially that Fernandez card. Wish I'd have done him, to be honest. Really good value, and that dynamic is on point, isn't it? Oh, we find space with Adama! First strike of the game, and he's put it in the back of the net. What a strike that was from the edge of the box there. The power in the shot. Donnarumma stood no chance. What a goal, and a quick turn as well. Adama's through again. Keeper read it, though. He did move his keeper there, but... Great pace, great positioning. Fortunately, no goal this time. Triore! Oh, not a bad effort. He's got the skills to pay the bills. Can we score off this one? We still can't find it, though. Adama! Again, find some space. Not the greatest finish in the world. Adama! Not the greatest finish in the world, but he doesn't have the best finishing, but he does have the pace, lads. He is really fast. So we finish up this game 1-1. One, one. Tough game, tough opponent. Uh, really good game, to be honest. Adama had a few chances. Obviously, he scored uh, the only goal in this game, and he took it really well, to be honest. Lovely skills. Uh, look, his dribbling's all right. His pace is good. Um, his finishing... Not the greatest, but certainly not the worst. He did have quite a few chances, which um, some players with better shooting would have put in the back of the net. But all in all, pretty good first game. Let's go into another.
Here we go, match number two. Let's see this team we're coming up against. Hopefully we can get some more goals with the man, the myth, the legend, Adama Traore. Uh, weird team. I mean, he's got a nice marquee show in there, but everything else is pretty damn box standard, isn't it? Oh, you don't let him through there. There's no catching him. Can he score? Yes, he can. And that's why he's going to be solely flat. Getting him behind, using that pace. And one-on-ones, he's going to score most of them, lads. Into Adama. Wins the header. Very unlucky there. Nice, nice positioning there to get in front of the defender. Again, this is what he's leaf flat. The through balls. Can we dink the keeper? We can. And there's a second in this game. What a goal. What a goal. That is what he's so leaf flat, lads. Linger on the last man. Play a through ball. And there genuinely isn't any stopping him. Oh, we get a penalty. We get a penalty with Ardama. Ardama? What am I saying? If you know me, you know I'm absolutely shit at pens. And Adama doesn't have the best penalties in the world. Can we score? No, he's read it. Gutted. Let's have a dig. Ooh, not a bad effort. Nice first time. First of acceleration there was a bit shite though, wasn't it? Considering it's 90 bloody seven. Like, I'm sorry, but a couple of occasions now, where is the 97 acceleration? That was not 97 acceleration, lads. Look how slow he was then to get up to speed. It's really weird. Like, look. Look at the touch. Look how slow he's going. That is not 97 pace. I mean, lovely dribble, like. It'd be lovely if we could have got a goal off that, but... I don't know, his pace is weird. In some situations, it's really good, and he absolutely blitz players. In some, he feels like an absolute slug to get up to pace. Really strange. He's quite a fun card to use, we've got to be honest. He is quite fun. It's just, his pace is really weird for me. He doesn't seem to have 97 pace all the time. Oh, very unlucky there. Um, he doesn't feel as strong as his card suggests either, that's what I would say. We end up losing this game. I think a bit of a FIFA scripting came into play in this one, not gonna lie, because Adama just didn't feel fast. I know we got two goals and they were really nice goals, but there was just something about him in this game. He just could not get up to speed, apart from the two chances he did get through and score. Um, showing nice pace here, but look at all the space he did have uh, to get away from the defenders there as well. But he took his goal nicely. Very nice strike there from Adama. He is decent, lads. I'm enjoying him. He's a bit of a fun card, to be honest. Um, but let's go on into the final match of the review. Here we go, final match of the review. Let's see the final team we're going to play against. Hopefully we can get some more goals with him. Really nice team, that Puskas and Kansan as the strikers. I respect it. <laughs> Not a single uh, normal car in the team. That's what we like to see. Lovely. Let's go on and hopefully win. Oof, not a bad effort. Again, not the greatest in the world. Angle's tight, but what he did do there, really well. Nice burst of pace, and the dribbling was fantastic. Uh, he is quite a fun card. I am enjoying him. He is a bit of a sweat. Here we go. That's where he's lethal, that lads. Can he bring it down and shoot? He can. Wasn't the greatest. Wasn't the greatest, but he was being challenged. Oh, look at the strength there. Look at the strength there. Can he finish as well? Yes, he can. That was an absolutely sensational goal. That's the first time he's really shown his strength for me. Absolutely bullying the defender there. And what a strike that was into the back of the net. Filthy. Again, this is what he's lethal at. Over top ball using the pace. And there's another. What a finish. He's just so lethal at that, lads. When he gets in behind, when you play a really nice time pass, there's no stopping him, is there? Absolutely fantastic goal yet again from him. Once he's through, there's no stopping him. Can we get the chip? No, we can't. It's not FIFA 22, Josh. Chips are shite this year, as well as finesse shots. Oh, maybe we should have gone for somewhere else there, but again, great run. Getting in behind. 
We're not getting a win, lads. We're not going to win the, in this review today. But Adam Raz played really well. He finds space. He has a dig. Again. It's not bad. He's getting in the positions. But someone with better shooting there is putting them in the back of the net, aren't they? Uh, and that's just... So we lose this one again. I'm showing how crappy I'm at FIFA today. That's <laughs> two losses and a win. But all in all, Adam has actually played really nice. Uh, he got two goals in this one. Again, he was really good, really fun. But he does have his cons, lads. And I've picked up on one of the reasons why um, he's not as fast as he seems. Or he's not as quick to accelerate as he seems. Uh, and that is the reaction. 75 reactions is one of the reasons why he doesn't feel as fast as his car suggests. Uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, in certain situations, that is. Some situations, he feels absolutely rapid. And then others, he doesn't. And that is because of the 75 reactions. He doesn't react quick enough to say, right, I need to go now. I need to run now. And that is uh, one of the minor cons with the card. But let's get on into the player summary and I'll speak about the card in general overall. So guys, my overall thoughts and opinions of Winter Wild Card, the Sweat King, Adama Traore. I actually really enjoyed this card. Three games, five goals is a good record, even though we didn't win a single bloody game. Um, what I did like about him, four star, four star, really good. And high low work rate's really good for a striker. I did find him, as soon as he got him behind, there was no stopping him. And even in front of goal, one on one situations, he's pretty good. Um, obviously not the best finisher in the world. Uh, in some occasions, he, he just couldn't get in the back of the net. And that's because finishing of 83 ain't the highest, is it? Um, and that is one of the reasons why, as, as well as the 80 composure. Um, but some minor con, well, cons on the card. 75 reactions is a con, lads, uh, and that affects his pace. He doesn't feel as fast to accelerate because his reactions are slower than other players, so the defender gets to him quicker and um, stuff like that. But his agility and balance and the way he dribbles on the ball is absolutely unreal. Really enjoyed that. Uh, the strength, I didn't really see his strength that good on all the occasions it was quite 50 50 i know he scored that really nice goal where he absolutely mugged off the defender pushing him out the way like he wasn't even there and scored but then other times he was just getting absolutely pushed off the ball so it was really 50 50 um situation with his strength some occasions it was good some occasions it was bad his stamina's okay at 84 not the best not the worst uh I did win a couple of headers with him, not on target as you can imagine for 45 head and accuracy and his finesse shots are going to be poo but all finesse shots are poo this year. What you want to do, one twos, get him in behind and he will score you a hell of a lot of goals. He's quite fun with the dribbling and the four star skills as well which I really enjoy with the card. If you have to rate him out of 10, I'd probably give him a solid 8 out of 10. He is good, he is fun and I'm sure you guys will really enjoy the card but he does have a few cons for me and that's why I'm not rating him any higher. Obviously his price is really good at 160k, imagine having him. Imagine playing like a 4-3-2-1, having him a maximum as your two centre forwards either side of a striker. That would be insane. And I think that's where he probably would play best rather than a two-strike formation that I was playing. Maybe like if I was a front three, as like the right-hand side uh, centre forward or right winger sort of player. I think he'd be really good at that. He's good at striker. I did enjoy him. Uh, but... Yeah, he's not the best card on the game, obviously, for obvious reasons. I mean, Mbappe is definitely better than this man, but he's obviously four or five times more expensive than this card, which is really good. And obviously, Adama has the links in the Prem, so he's a really good card to use, and you should definitely go and try him. You, you'll have a lot of fun with this card. I, hands down, you'll have a lot of fun with him. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's play review. If you have, smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA-related content. Check out Cryptic Gaming, the gaming organisation I'm a part of, with content creators, streamers. And uh, yeah, they share my clips. So yes, please do go and check them out on YouTube. As I said, link down below. And uh, check out our sponsor, u7buy.com. And use code Josh97 to get yourself a cheeky 5% off at checkout. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.